What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to the channel. We talk about real estate photography here and today is no different. But today we're going to be talking about not how to shoot the photos, but how to deliver the photos or videos or virtual tour or pretty much anything that you do within the real estate photography niche. How do we deliver those services? So if you're like me, when I first started out, I was delivering everything through Google Drive, which became a process that was not the most enjoyable. Google, for whatever reason, has a very difficult time zipping files to download them. It takes a long time and it is not the most fun process. So when you are sending photos to your clients that way and they are sitting there waiting uh, 10, 15 minutes sometimes to zip all of these photos together to download, it becomes something that's not really the most enjoyable process for your client. And it might really be one thing, one minor thing, even if you have photos that are really incredible looking that turns them off to your company and makes them go to your competition. Because it really at the end of the day is all about how easy can you make it for them to use your service. So. When I had these problems going on, not just with the zipping, but it didn't really look professional, um, it didn't really go with my brand, I realized that I had to figure out a different way to send my photos and videos to everybody. So that's when I was on the hunt for a great software that would do this, and I ended up finding a company called Show & Tour. So I am not affiliated with Show & Tour at all, uh, yet anyway, um, but I wanted to show you guys the software because I use it daily, and it has really done a great job for me. At this point, I've done dozens of projects on there and it is really such an incredible platform that you can put your photos your videos your virtual tours everything onto one page and make it very simple for your clients to download I've gotten several compliments over the last few months about how easy it is to use how easy it is to download the photos and the virtual tours and it has just really been a great asset to my business and I look back on delivering photos to Google Drive before and I am so glad that I found this company so what I wanted to do today is make a brand new account on show and tour and show you guys exactly how to get everything set up and how easy it is to deliver these photos to your clients. For the starter package, it is completely free. I think it's like a gigabyte amount that they allow, like two gigabytes or something like that. But when you're first starting out, it's completely free. So I figure I'll just make this dummy account so I can walk through it with you guys and show you exactly how it works. All right, guys, we are about to do a quick walkthrough of this software show and tour. Before we do, if you could please hit the subscribe button, I would appreciate it. We are growing an awesome community here. I'm teaching you guys everything I know about real estate photography, videography, virtual tours, everything within that real estate photography niche so you guys can make over $100,000 a year using your camera. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna show you exactly how this software works. So this is the dashboard that you guys will see when you first open up show and tour. Mine is much more filled out with a lot of projects and a lot of clients, but again, this is just a dummy account. So it is blank right now. So let's go ahead and click new client and we will put in, um, how about George Costanza? Is that how you spell Costanza? Uh, maybe, I don't know. All right, we don't need to put in any of his information, but you can put phone number, email, website. Um, you can do some of his branding if they want to do the company name, logo, etc. cetera. Um, but let's go ahead and back out of that. Now you can see that we have George Costanza right here. You can also change the view. So I actually prefer this kind of icon view or grid view over the list view. And then let's go ahead and jump back over to projects and hit new project. So we can type in any address right here. We can type in, um, I don't know, I'm gonna just try to come up with uh, an address. How about 100 Main Street? Perfect, let's do, let's do this one right here. And then you would pick your client, George Costanza, create project. So this is the page where you build out all of your deliverables. You put things like your photos, your videos, your virtual tour, everything on here. So let me show you how it works. Let's go ahead and add some photos into this project. So to do that, we'll just click on this little plus button. We'll scroll down, hit gallery, and we just upload the photos right there. So I have an example house. I just took these photos the other day. I thought they would be nice to throw in here for the example house. So just open those up. They will upload right here. You can see the upload bar, which is going pretty quickly. Um, for these, I have them saved out pretty small, so they would go faster when I save them out as full resolution photos, which are like 20 megabytes or so each. Um, it does take a little while, but it's still not too bad. So when you have those photos uploaded, you have the ability to click header and you can add one of those images to the top of the page. So I like to do that every single time. I like this image a lot, so we will save that one for it. And what's great about Show & Tour is you can also have your project payment in the link as well. So it doesn't have to be a separate invoice sent. It can all be on one page. So I always do that. I just 
hop over to here. Um, you can connect QuickBooks, Stripe, or you can add in um, a different link to a different company. So I use Square. I, I think they're actually going to add in Square as an integration later on, but currently they don't. If you use Stripe, that's great. You can have it as an integration right within here. So let's just say this is a $300 project, um, and then you just put you know, square.com slash you know, whatever your uh, invoice link is. For this one, we'll just obviously put square.com. Um, and it will still save it. So let's see what we have so far. Just save those changes, preview. And then as you can see, it loads up that nice header image right there. It shows that you need to pay now. If we click this, it'll go to square.com um, and you can download the images. So scroll down, it shows you the gallery of images right there. After you add those photos, let's say you have something else, maybe a video or a virtual tour. I have a virtual tour from an old one that I did that I'm gonna load into here. So you would click on new section, external media, and then you would just put in the link. So I just put in the link to it. It automatically detects that it is a Zillow tour. You hit next and it shows right there, you know, created by me. This is the address. That's not the real address. Obviously it's the one that we just made up, but next done and then it will add it in right there. And then if we hit publish changes and preview, you will see that if we scroll down, it is now right there. And then you can click on it and scroll right through it. It's an iframe, so you're able to uh, just use it as is right there. And then they have the ability to um, download or share, or I'm sorry, share or embed using that link right there. So the way I share these projects is I just click on the deliverable URL. I send it in a custom email. You know, I always say like, hey, here's the photos of 100 Main Street. Um, hope you love them. Let me know if you need anything else and put the link right there. You do also have the option. There's a button right here, send project, where you can send it to clients directly from show and tour. Um, you also have the ability to make property websites on here. Um, I don't personally do that. Uh, if somebody asks me to do it, I will, but for the most part, I don't really do property websites. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys the example page that they have on here. So it's 963 North 1950 Road. Uh, I think that's a real place, I don't really know, but this is what a whole built out deliverable website would be. So as you can see, pay now $996. Um, and you can download, which will automatically download the photos. So you can go to the property website right here, um, which is like a, another link. So if we click view, it'll show you like, this is what the property website would look like. It has all the details of the realtor, of the home, a big gallery, etc. It's basically the same thing with just like some added info. But hopping back over to this deliverable page, you can see that if you scroll down, you have the ability to download uh, multiple size photos. So full resolution, web 24. 48, web 1024. I always do full resolution and then web 2048. I don't offer the smallest one. Um, and then you're able to rename those as well. So the web one I rename is MLS ready. So they can download those, it zips into a zip file, makes it very easy for them to use. Um, scroll down, you can have a video built in right here. So you can just start to play it and they have the ability to either embed it or share it or download it right there. And same thing with the download, you can choose the size that they're able to download it. And then virtual tour. So this is a Zillow tour, just like the one that I put on the last one. And you can literally scroll through right there, click on each, each section and walk through the house, go into the entry. And it's just literally that simple. It's all on one page. And my favorite part really is that it just makes it so easy for them. They can pay right there. It really increases um, the likelihood that they pay right away. If you're connecting Stripe, you can actually put a paywall so they can like see all this stuff, but they can't download it until they pay, which is great. Um, I don't really have a problem with the clients paying ever. So I, I honestly thought about switching over to Stripe just so that I would have the integration of these two platforms, but it's really not that important to me. All of my clients pay, thankfully. Um, so I just keep it with Square. I really like Square and how easy they are to use. So for me, it's just they click on this pay now, they go to the Square, they pay it, and they download everything. So that is really it for the deliverables and how Show and Tour works. I figure I'll just show you guys the pricing of it. So right now I am using the plus $49 a month for 50 gigabytes. Um, as I do a lot more projects, obviously, I'll probably need to go up more later on. I'll probably just go to the unlimited, the $149 a month. But if you're just starting out, it's literally free. Um, I used the free one for the first couple of projects that I did just to test it out, which is nice that you have that ability. And then for $19 a month, you have a pretty good option as well. 10 gigabytes of storage. It says about 100 projects. I think it probably lasted me like 
60 projects or so, um, but I put a lot of things in my projects usually, you know, between video and high resolution photos, it does take up a good amount of space. So right now I'm using the $49 a month one and it's great. Um, but again, I'm not affiliated with these guys. I just really like the software and I felt like it would be a great enhancement to your business if you're still using Dropbox or Google Drive. But that's gonna be it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any value out of this at all, please hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.